Zoo Day, written by Anne Rockwell, illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. On a sunny Saturday, I go to the zoo with my mother, father, and sister Lucy. It's my very first time there. Lucy's too. My father buys a ticket for each of us and a bag of popcorn to share. While we look at the map, I can hear roars and howls, chitter chatter and songs, cries and squawks. I hold my father's hand tightly because the roars make me a little nervous. First, we go into the jungle house to say hello to the monkeys. Next, we visit the gorilla forest. The big gorilla comes right up to the window. She stares at me so hard, I feel like I'm in the zoo and she's the visitor. At the African plain, we find a mother elephant and her baby. The baby elephant sticks very close to its mother. There are funny looking ostriches, zebras, and giraffes munching leaves off the trees. Inside the grasslands building, I can see the big lion with the yellow mane. He looks sleepy and quiet, but all of a sudden he opens his mouth and roars. It must be his nap time, Lucy says. I bet he's telling us to shush and let him sleep. Then we visit the reptile house. We see a giant boa constrictor and a tiny coral snake. The coral snake is very pretty but very poisonous. There is a turtle swimming in a tank. We walk along the shady path to where the polar bears live. Lucy loves polar bears. She has a big stuffed animal polar bear at home and it's her favorite toy. We love to watch the polar bears in their underwater dance. We could watch them all day. But my father says, it's almost time, let's go. We hurry over to the big pond where the sea lions live. They're climbing on rocks and sliding off and they're barking and splashing and grunting. Lucy laughs. They sound just like Roxy. Roxy is our pet beagle. I laugh too. When the zookeeper comes to feed them, the sea lions gather around, barking even louder. She throws a shiny fish up in the air. A sea lion catches it and slaps his flipper on the rock. Another catches a fish and dives underwater. Now they're making me hungry, I tell my mom. Me too, she says. We sit at a picnic table and unpack our lunch. Just as soon as we finish, I hear a whistling sound. What's that, I wonder? We follow the sound to the birdhouse. But the birds aren't in cages. They are flying all over and all around us, but they don't fly out the door. Lucy and I hold up small cups of nectar. A parrot stands on my shoulder and takes a sip. I wish I could bring him home, but we can't bring home any of the animals we've seen. Just the same, Dad buys us two balloons. One with a polar bear for Lucy and one with a parrot for me to remember our day at the zoo.